Hi everybody, today we're going to solve simple inequalities. When we look at inequalities, we have four different types. We have greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, or less than or equal to. When you solve linear inequalities, you do that the same way you solved linear equations, except if you multiply or divide by a negative number, then the inequality reverses. So for example, if I had negative 2x is less than or equal to 10, when I divide by negative 2, the less than sign is going to flip over and become greater than. So now I would have x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Let's just go through a bunch of examples so you can really get a feel for that. So I'm going to start with 5x minus 8 is less than or equal to 32. What I want to do is isolate the x. So the first step would be move the 8 over. So let's add 8 to both sides. Now I have 5x is less than or equal to 32 plus 8 is 40. To get x by itself, I want to divide by 5, and now x is less than or equal to 8. So that should feel just like solving a linear equation, except instead of an equal sign, I have less than or equal to. Switch it up. I have negative 4x plus 9 is greater than 2x minus 3. Again, let's get x on the left, numbers on the right. So I'm going to start by moving the 9. I subtract it on both sides. I have negative 4x is greater than 2x minus 12. Let's subtract 2x from both sides. I have negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x. Those 2x's cancel. I have greater than negative 12. This time, when I divide by negative 6, I really want to pay attention to the fact that the 6 was negative. This now says x is less than positive 2. So I divide by a negative, I flip my inequality. This one says 5 times x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 7 times x plus 3 minus 9. I'm going to start by distributing. I have 5x minus 20 is greater than or equal to 7x plus 21 minus 9. The left side looks good, 5x minus 20. The right side says 7x, and then if I do 21 minus 9, I get 12. Let's move the 20 over to the right side going to add it both sides. So I have 5x is greater than or equal to 7x plus 32. Now I'm going to subtract 7x. 5x minus 7x is a negative 2x. That says greater than or equal to positive 32. That negative 2, when I divide it, I need to remember to flip my inequality. So x is less than or equal to now. 32 over negative 2, negative 16. Now I have 3x plus 7 is greater than 4 times x plus 5. I have 3x plus 7. I'm going to distribute the 4 to the x plus 5, so I have 4x plus 20. I'm going to move my 7, so I subtract it from both sides. 3x is greater then 4x plus 13, and then I'm going to subtract 4x. 3x minus 4x is negative x, that's greater than 13. So I put this one in here to show you that even if I have negative x, I want to think of that as a negative 1x, and I need to divide both sides by negative 1. Now I have x is less than negative 13, so I don't want to have any kind of negative in front of the x, even if it's simply a negative x. Here's one where I put in a fraction, so I have negative 1 fourth of x minus 1 is greater than x plus 3. So what I would do here is probably clear the fraction just to make it easier. So what I'm going to think is let's multiply both sides by negative 4. What that's going to do is it's going to get rid of the fraction, but also because I'm multiplying by a negative, I'm going to reverse the sign of my inequality. So negative 4 times negative 1 fourth of x is going to give me x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Greater than became less than. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 3 is minus 12. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. I have x is less than negative 4x. This is minus 16. Now let's add the 4x over, which says 5x is less than negative 16. Last step is divide by 5. x is less than negative 16 over 5. 
I could also have double inequalities, meaning I have two inequality signs. I'm still going to go about the same way to solve. I just want to make sure whatever I do, I do everywhere. So negative 12 less than 4x less than 16, I would divide everything by 4. So see how I'm doing it three times. So my negative 12 over 4 gives me a negative 3. I still have my x. 16 over 4 is 4. Let's try one more like that. I have 2 is less than or equal to 3x plus 5, which is less than or equal to 23. I'm going to start by moving the 5, so everywhere I subtract 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Then I have my 3x. 23 minus 5 is 18. I'm going to divide everything by 3, which leaves me with negative 1 less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 6. So just as a quick reminder, when you're solving inequalities, you're basically doing the same thing you did with equalities, except multiply or divide by a negative, flip everything over. Good luck.